Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday morning, March 26th, and I wanted to give you a quick little video update about some of the changes that are going to be happening and how we're going to be doing online homework and quizzes and things like that. Just so you know, the president sent out an email yesterday just updating about the whole coronavirus, and they are moving summer classes online, and it's looking like we're basically not going to be meeting live for the rest of the semester. What it's looking like is that all classes will be online for the entire semester, and summer classes are going to be online also, which means I had to figure out a way of doing online quizzes, online homework, and so on. So let's just look at your home page. So I have updated your home page with the schedule. So the schedule for the next two weeks, and I'm only going to do this two weeks at a time just because things are changing so rapidly. This coming Tuesday, March 31st, you have two homework assignments due. One is just on mastering physics. So it's just using this mastering physics website and then how you enter in answers and data and things like that. And then on Tuesday, also chapter eight homework is due. Now I'll kind of go through it a little bit when we look at mastering physics, but the way the homework is gonna be done is you're gonna to have to solve everything algebraically and then plug in the numbers at the end because, and I couldn't really change this, but the software randomizes the homework um, inputs. And so everybody who does it is gonna have slightly different values for the speed, the tension, the mass, and so on and so forth. The very first online quiz will be Wednesday, April 1st, and it'll be on chapter eight. And then next week, the following week, we're gonna have PLCs eight and nine due, labs five, six, and seven, and then chapter nine homework and a quiz. So I know it's sort of a lot, but we kind of have to catch up a bit. And yeah, we're all doing the best we can. So another big thing is I created an online resources page that sort of has everything that I'm currently doing to try and move everything online. So just take a look at it. So one, we've got a link to Pearson Mastering Physics. I sent out an email with how to register for your free account and the registration instructions I also have as a PDF. A couple things about this is once you enter this website, you're going to register under student. You need to have the course ID, which for physics 4A is McCullough 18149. And then you will need an access code. And this is the access code that you're going to use. Now, this is a really great website. It normally costs, I think, 80 bucks a year, and they've kindly given free access to all students. So you need to basically create an account. I also have Expert TA Physics Series. So they also basically donated this to all students. It's a really great website with some amazing videos that I'll show you. Again, you need to create a free account, and I sent an email on how to do that. And actually, this is the link right here to create the physics account. So I'll go through all of those. But this right here is any time that I'm doing Zoom, a Zoom lecture or a Zoom office hours, this is the link that you will use. One thing is this is the link that I'm going to use for my other class also. I just decided to have one link, which means that if you click on this link at a time when I'm not scheduled for office hours for 4A, I may be having office hours for Physics 10. So just so you know, I'm only going to be available for Physics 4A at specific times. I will figure that out and let you know as soon as possible. I also have a YouTube channel that I created just for Physics 4A that basically has all of the videos. I will, uh, they don't look like they are in order. Anyway, I will put these in order so that they make logical sense. And uh, textbook. So I uploaded to my personal website a really nice PDF copy of the textbook. I know I'm not supposed to, but I know some of you don't have access to the textbook at home. So I recommend just downloading this. It's a pretty big file, but it's a really well done PDF. It's nice and easy to navigate around. Um, lecture notes. So these are lecture notes from a student from a couple of years ago or last, oh, last year this time. And so I just uploaded these. These are basically the lecture notes that somebody took a year ago during class. And then also all of the online lectures, I will link 
They're also on my YouTube channel, but I'll be specific about each one. And then virtual office hours. Ooh, all right, I guess I'm gonna have to fix that. Uh, anyway, virtual office hours, anytime I have office hours that I'm covering something, if a student asks a good question, I will post those Zoom sessions to YouTube and then put a link here. Okay, so let's look at a couple of your resources. So if you go to Mastering Physics, one, you're going to have to create an account by registering as a student. Keeps giving me this pop-up message. And then I kind of led you through how to register. You basically have to enter in the course ID, which I gave you, and so on and so forth. Once you set it up, let me sign in here. Do, 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 do. So this I signed in as a student. And so this is sort of what you'll see when you sign into Mastering Physics. Ooh, skip this step. Why is it doing this? Uh, let's try this again. Do, 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 do. Log in, I don't want to log in, Cabrillo Joe, sign in. Okay, so you won't see two courses. This is because I have one for Physics 4A and Physics 10. But when you click on Physics 4A, it will basically come up with a list of upcoming assignments. So one, I have this little reading assignments. This is not graded. This is basically to make sure that you are keeping up with the course. The very first homework assignment is Mastering Physics. So when you click on it and start, it is basically going to lead you through how to enter in answers and things like that for homework and for quizzes. So all of these, like for this, most a lot of these will have hints. So like you have to click View Available Hints, and then it's going to give you another set of hints to do and then it's going to help guide you through the answer. And then you just basically go through each one. So it's important to do this because this is going to teach you how to enter in answers to homework, to quizzes, and things like that, so that, uh, yeah, you know how to do it. Going back, do 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 do. Uh, let's go back to course home. And then, so the homework. So like I said, if I look at a homework problem, the thing about these homeworks is, oh, maybe that one didn't change. Some of them, it's going to randomize the variables. And so like for this problem, 835, the 22 meter high, 20 degree ramp, 10 meter wide pool, they will change the numbers for each time you do it, which means that the answer that you get is not gonna be exactly the answer from the textbook, so you're gonna to have to solve everything algebraically first, and then at the end, plug in the numbers that they give you for the particular homework problem. In terms of quizzes, so the quizzes are gonna be a bit different. So one, the quizzes are timed. So once you start a quiz, you're only gonna have 60 minutes to finish it. The quiz is basically five questions. So I'm just gonna start this just to show you what it looks like. So some of those questions are conceptual questions. It's just basically a multiple choice question. You click, submit your answer. And then let me just, uh, can I go back? Doot, 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 doot. If I look at a problem. So the problem, again, this is gonna be a little bit challenging to sort of work through, but stay patient with me. The problems are multiple choice, which means that the answer's either right or wrong. I don't know how to go about giving partial credit, but the quizzes will have usually a couple multiple choice questions that are conceptual, a couple multiple choice questions that are problems. And the problems, I'm gonna make them to be easier so they're not as challenging, and there'll probably be three easier problems for each quiz. Thing about the quizzes is obviously I can't make sure that you're just using a four by six index card. So the quizzes are gonna be open notes, open everything. So yeah, we're gonna be working through this together, but that's it. So if I go back to my course home, a few things that are really nice about this. So one, you've got these dynamic study modules up at the right corner. These are awesome. So 
So for each one, let this come up. It's got these different modules. And for each module, you can basically just do it as an additional learning tool. So what it does is it just has some multiple choice questions for each one. These are a really great way of getting a conceptual understanding of the material. I highly recommend them. Under eText, it has a really nice version of the textbook in an electronic format. As you saw, I uploaded a PDF of the textbook, but this is really nicely annotated. It's easy to see these images. If you click on them, you can see the individual image. Oops, darn it. Close that out. Let's launch that again. Do, 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 If you go back here in the menu, you can go to any particular part, homework questions, things like that. Great to have. Uh, other thing is do, 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 e-text. If you go to the study area, study area they have for each chapter. So like if I go to chapter nine, you have to hit go. It'll give you the resources that they have for each chapter. So like for chapter nine, it has a little video tutor demonstration on work and kinetic energy. So I open it up and you've got a little video that plays. Suppose we drop it. It also has simulations that you can use to just help with the conceptual understanding. Now, in terms of how are we going to turn in PLCs and homework? So I set up, there's a little document sharing here. And then what you'll see is that for each lab, I have PLCs, 8 a.m. lab, 1115, 245. Labs for the 8 a.m., 1115, and 245. The way you're going to turn in PLCs and labs is for, let's say you're in the 8 a.m. lab, you're just going to click on PLC 8 a.m. lab. And then what you're going to do is upload a document and you want to upload it to the instructor only and then you can choose the file basically so choose whatever file you want to upload and that's how we're going to end up doing it so going back to the course home each one of these assignments has a due date that's the last day in which you can upload an assignment or take a quiz or do the homework and the due dates are listed here, and they're always due basically by midnight that day. That is the last day that you can actually turn stuff in. So, for example, if I look at your schedule, uh, PLCs 8, hopefully most people have already done. Labs 5 and 6, most people have already done. Chapter 8, a lot of you have already done the homework. And so you don't have to wait until Tuesday at 11.50 to do the homework. You can do it at any time. So in terms of uploading material, please, so again, if we go to document sharing, if I'm in the 8 a.m. lab and I wanna upload a lab, make sure I'm in labs, 8 a.m. lab, and then upload a document. Please, if you can, convert your documents to PDF. And if you can't, you can just take a picture of them with your cell phone, upload the picture, but please make sure that I can clearly see what's going on. And it's gonna be important when you're turning in labs and PLCs that I can follow your work. So it's more important than ever to be organized because I'm gonna be trying to grade stuff, looking at it on the computer. So yeah, that's gonna be very fun and interesting. Uh, a couple of the things I wanted to show you. So in terms of this expert TA, so I gave you a link. Let me just go back to the link real quick. If you click on this link, it will show you basically how to go about registering. Once you have an account, you go to the expertta.com, log in. I've already created an account. And what you're going to see are a series of videos. So expert TA video one series and for two. So most of the material that we're covering is in this very first one. And for every single topic, they have a introduction video that's basically designed to flip the classroom. So like right now we're looking at soon kinetic energy and work. So 
So if I were to go to let do, 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 do work potential gravitational, let's just say like energy conservation. Here's an example. So this is a this a bit. Where, where we, we know, know the, energy the energy of the ball. The, ball. And the only the place, place I can... I can so this is a nice sort of little video of an introduction to it. Let me just warn you that the notation that we're using in the textbook is going to be slightly different. So these are really good videos to sort of give you a general overview, but oftentimes your textbook is doing things a little bit differently. Huh. So what else did I want to show you? I think that is it for now. So keep in mind that this online resources page, I will keep updated. Anytime I post a new YouTube video, I'll put a link there. I'll also send out emails. And in terms of the schedule, in terms of when we're going to be having lectures and office hours and things like that, I'm still working on that. Uh, I'm going to try and keep the lectures around the same time as lectures would be. And I'm planning on trying to do lectures using Zoom. So we'll see how that works. My hope is to do most of my lectures at a given time using Zoom, but I also may need to film some lectures just in front of the computer by myself. Huh, that's it. I know it's a lot of information. Please mark this video and watch it again if you need to, but we are transitioning everything online. And so you really need to make sure you have one, a Zoom account set up, two, you need to have mastering physics set up so you can turn in the homework and the labs and the PLCs and take the online quizzes. And taking an online course is a completely different beast than doing live classes. You really, really, really need to set a schedule and stick to it and make sure you stay up with all the material. <sighs> That's it, everybody. I, uh, yeah, I miss everybody. It's really hard trying to run a class online. One of the things I love about teaching is just interacting with everybody. So, uh, you know, this is going to be an interesting end to the semester. Let me know how I can support you. I'm doing everything I can to make sure that you have access to all the materials you need. And if you have any suggestions, let me know. Or if you find any great websites with great resources, please let me know that also. And one other thing about, uh, let me go back to mastering physics real quick. Pearson. One other area in this document sharing that I set up is shared resources. If you find a really good resource that you think other students would enjoy, please, please upload it and let's try and just support everybody as much as possible. <sighs> All right, that's it. Uh, I hope you're relaxing a bit and enjoying this sort of new paradigm. Make sure you get outside, and uh, yeah, that's it for now. I'll probably send out an email update uh, before Monday. All right, <sighs> over and out.